Sorry, I got cut off. Uh, it seems like I just can't get this done in one post, so I'll have to send you two. But uh, we were talking about rationing, and I sent you the video about the lady that was waiting. She had no option of where she could go. She was directed to a certain district, and um, they were only giving out 12 of these procedures at this particular hospital per year. And there were about 30 on the waiting list, so that she was 32nd on the waiting list. That gave her a about a three-month wait. Um, the National Health Service in England has recently issued a uh, target of 18 weeks uh, wait time between the time you see a specialist and the time you referred, were referred by your general practitioner. That seems like an unacceptably long wait time to me. Um, and the fact of the matter is that only about 50% of the people are uh, seeing that target met. So 50% of the people wait longer than 18 weeks. Uh, it seems like an extremely long wait to me. Um, so I guess to summarize, it seems like uh, you know if we replace premiums with taxes dollar for dollar, uh, you will have a higher additional number of bureaucrats by the nature of the system that are required to collect the money. Um, you'll have uh, a disincentive or no incentive to uh, keep bureaucracy down. You'll have no incentive to investigate for fraud. Uh, and you'll have more people in the system, all of which will put upwards price pressure on the cost of, of uh, implementing that system. And that would result in higher taxes than the collective um, number of dollars that we spend in premiums now. Uh, competition will also cease to exist and uh, that will allow prices to float upwards unchecked. So those are some of the big negatives that I see with the uh, government run health insurance programs. Another point that we mentioned was the Canadians coming to the U.S. for health care and you are absolutely right it is not a large number but the point I was trying to make is more that the U.S. is the only system where these people can come when those systems fail them. You know, everybody talks about how profit or money should not be involved in somebody's health. But can you imagine having a condition that made your life miserable and your government telling you that they couldn't fit you in for another three years? And then on top of the taxes that you already paid, you were willing to say, you know, I'll mortgage the house or I'll spend my inheritance to have this uh, problem relieved. And then having your government tell you your money is no good. That doesn't seem like a very kind and caring, compassionate system to me. Uh, the nasty profit motive means that at least when somebody comes to you and says, I have no other way to get this procedure done other than to pay for it. The profit system means that your money is good. Your money is good. And you can have this procedure that will uh, better your life and you won't be shut out. So, you know, I sent you a couple stories about a British or a Canadian dignitary receiving breast cancer treatment in the, in the U.S. And, um, and links to websites where they broker medical services outside of the country in Canada. But it's not necessarily the amount of people that I'm trying to make the point of. Um, it's the fact that the system, the system, our system, where we take money and we base it on a profit motive, is sometimes the only recourse uh, for these desperate individuals when they're all-inclusive, all-caring, compassionate government systems uh, fail them. So I hope I have not uh, taken up too much of your time, and I'm sorry I just was not able to get that done in one post because of the time limit. But um, I hope you'll uh, hope you'll take my responses and look at the links I've given you to back them up, and. Uh, Send me a message in response and let me know what you think and we'll continue this discussion um, a little bit later on. Thanks. Talk to you later.